everyone. So today is cycle day 13 and this is our fourth cycle of trying to conceive. And um, honestly, it has been a really long and um, stressful journey. I know that trying to conceive for four months isn't really a long time, but when you're going through it personally, it seems like forever. So um, I didn't really have anything exciting to update you guys on, and I got really super busy with the holiday um, Thanksgiving as well as Christmas shopping and decorating for Christmas. So I do apologize for not updating with my pregnancy tests um, sooner than now. So I'll go ahead and share with you guys um, my tests. I just went ahead and used the um, Wandfo um, tests, um, but the, all the red ones are um, pregnancy tests and they were completely negative. Um, I wasn't able to do the HCG trigger shot or um, the Clomid last cycle. So I had a completely normal cycle um, as far as like not having false positives and things like that. And I did actually um, get a positive OPK on cycle day 14. And um, I was honestly shocked because I did Vitex last cycle and I actually had a 28 day cycle, which is completely normal. So with that being said, I'm praying that um, my body has rid of all of the birth control pills, I guess, and which is so weird because I was on the mini pill, but hopefully my body, my system has rid of everything and it's back to its normal um, state. So my OPKs from cycle day 10 through yesterday had um, a really faint second line, which is completely normal because I don't normally ovulate until around cycle day 14 anyways. So I'm just kind of waiting around to test. I normally don't test until two o'clock in the afternoon anyway. So I don't have one yet from today. Now a few things differently I have done this cycle than last cycle. I completely stopped taking the 100 milligrams of the B complex. I just kind of felt like maybe I was taking too many supplements. I don't know if that's really possible, but um, I don't know. I just felt like I needed to stop taking it, so I did. I'm still taking the prenatal vitamins, the DHA gummies. And um, I didn't bring in here, but the folic acid, I still take six milligrams all together. And the prenatals do have folic acid in them, which I do count in with the extra that I do take. So I'm taking 81 milligrams daily of the Bayer aspirin, and that is to help with implantation. And something different that we've decided to do this cycle was use pre-seed. I have never used it before. Um, it is fertility friendly and is basically to help you to conceive. I honestly didn't mind using it. Um, I personally didn't notice anything different. Um, or, I don't know, I guess... It's really hard to explain this. I don't know. I didn't dislike it, but I couldn't really tell a difference, if that makes sense. So um, the tube comes like this, and um, they come with applicators. And all you do is just pull it back and then fill it up to the um, recommended amount that you are taking. And I went ahead and got a couple more of the um, first response tests. Um, so I have three of those all together. I want to get like another three packs. So at least I have six of those. Um, I only have three of the one faux tests left. And I have one of the 88 cents Walmart cheapy tests left. So um, I like to have sort of of a stash at least so I can test every other day. So one of my dear, dear sweet friends um, who has been such a huge blessing in my life um, messaged me and asked me if I wanted to do Clomid and HCG trigger shot this cycle and um, I cannot tell you and express to you how much that truly meant to me because in my heart I really 
had set on doing um, the Clomid and the HCG trigger shot this cycle because I just feel like everything that we're doing hasn't been working and I just feel like I have more of a chance with the HCG trigger shot as well as the Clomid than without just because I feel like it's actually making your body do what it's supposed to do. So um, she um, sent me the Clomid and um, the HCG trigger shot in which I was going to try to do them on cycle day five through nine. And unfortunately the mealman did not drop off the package in time. So I wasn't able to even begin the Clomid until cycle day um, six through 10. And um, I haven't really read a whole lot of success stories on Clomid on cycle day six through 10, but that doesn't mean that they aren't out there. Um, I just kind of felt like I didn't want to wait until next cycle to take it because I felt like I want this so bad right now. And I just didn't want to miss my opportunity. So I went ahead and took it and I'm just kind of praying that it actually does work this cycle. In case you're wondering, Clomid just are little pills. They come in um, a little pack just like your birth control would normally come in. And um, so yeah, they have specific days that they recommend for you to take the Clomid, which is normally like two through, I don't know, two through six, three through seven, five through nine, and I have read only a few that have done six through 10. So I don't know, we'll see what kind of happens from there. Um, Sarah, I can not express how much um, that truly means to me that you have such a big heart that um, you care enough um, to actually reach out to me. Um, I just, I'm kind of lost at words, honestly. I just cannot thank you enough. It means so much to me. And um, I'm so thankful that I actually have you in my life because you have been such a huge support and such a wonderful friend. And um, I'm just very blessed to have you in my life. Um, so with the um, HCG trigger shots, I don't know if I showed you guys um, what I had before, what um, they basically are is just, um, they come in a little package like this, um, and inside they have like the little um, vials of the um, injection in there, and I did have to go to my pharmacy to get um, some syringes, as well as the needle, which I don't know where, there it is. And it is a um, one and a half um, gauge um, needle, 22 gauge, 22 and one and a half. So it's pretty long, you guys. Um, I've done it two cycles before, and I really couldn't tell that it, I mean, it didn't like hurt like crazy or anything. So it looks scary, but it wasn't as scary as I was preparing myself for. Um, so yeah, honestly, that's pretty much it. Um, I am still waiting around for ovulation and I will keep you guys posted and updated, um, when that happens. And, um, so yeah, that's pretty much is where I I'm at you. now. Oh, I love you too. All right. Well, I guess I shall update you guys later. Bye. Bye.